Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my YouTube channel once again. So today we're gonna to teach you guys how to use EVGA Precession X and also enable OSD. So if you don't know what OSD means, it means on-screen display. So what that helps you is if you've seen my previous builds on Battlefield One, on the top left corner of your screen, it will give you um, hardware monitor on your GPU, your core clock GPU, your memory clock GPU. Your, even your CPU um, temperatures, a lot more. MSI, the reason why I like about MSI is that you have more options. You, it gives it even temperature, your CPU uses, all that stuff. But honestly, I've been having problems with MSI after burner because it's been really unstable, especially the third party software, the Revo Tuner, Revo Server. I, I know the Revo Server, that's what it calls, is not that great with me i have not the greatest luck with it so i use evga precision x oc so to get this software pretty easy go to evga website make sure you have an account if you don't make one it's not that hard it's a few simple steps and once you got that ready and once you log into the account all you gotta do is go to support evga software scroll down right there in front of you you click download you're good to go now very very important is to very very important is to make sure you download the latest and greatest precision x oc software which is 6.0.5 version that's the latest one of course when you read once you read this this thing if you don't just say i agree and then you can download for any of these one of these two mirrors so it's up to you pretty st straightforward now, once you finish installing your your EVGA Precision X, one actually no, I'm skipping it. Once you finish downloading your EVGA Precision X, doesn't does, I'm only you make sure you know where you save that. It could be on the download folder, or you can save it in your desktop, and who knows in documents. For all we know, everybody's different, personal preference by the end of the day. So once you finish download and install, as you see, I already have it open and ready to go. Now also, oh hold up. Oh something was bothering me. Okay, continuing. Um, so now, once you have before it even opens, it's gonna ask you information: your name, your email, and the serial number of your GPU. Now do not freak out. It's not gonna avoid your warranty. It's not gonna be like okay once he he once he gives us the serial number of his gpu we can automatic void warranty evga is not like that they want to make sure that that card is an evga graphic card why they want to make sure well to be honest probably they want to make it work well like a nice couple or like peanut butter jelly sandwich now also this is these are this um evga perception x oc is also for the new um nvidia gpu the pascal gpu for your gtx 1060 1070 1080 and if you have all your rig in the backyard or you got a mortgage you can go with the gtx titan pascal or aka on the low we already know that they're going to come out with the 1080 ti which is awesome now also let me continue oh hold on excuse me fellas there you go, boy. Right. So, if I die, my dog wants to get out. Alright, let me go back while I'm saying. So, pretty much, the, this new software will be also um, compatible and let you overclock that Pascal GPU. Now, back while I'm saying, pretty straightforward. Now, the most important thing that you guys are really, really waiting for is how to enable OSD. Pretty simple. Once you open up and do all that process of giving your serial number, and everything, um, pretty, pretty plain simple. Just click on right there, that little white dot. Just click on it to enable. So it'll be like this. And that's okay. I want to enable. That's it. Then you move up. And hold up. Ooh, there we go. You can have your options. And you got all these options to enable but you got to make sure you go each of those tabs and make sure right there where it says on on 
on screen display make sure you are enabled for gpu one now the same thing goes if you have um two-way sli three-way sli four-way sli two-way sli you just want to enable gpu one gpu two three-way gpu one gpu two gpu three four-way gpu one gpu two gpu three gpu four man if you have four-way sli right now then May God be with you. You're a lucky kid. <laughs> but pretty much. And then you got um three different sides. Almost sounds like if I'm ordering and drinking McDonald's. Me, small, medium, large. Usually I go large. And <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, Lord. Once you're done, just hit exit. And we're going to run. And I forgot to show you guys one more thing. Now, if you don't see your, if you don't see the the hardware monitor on the top left corner of your screen at all this list right here is the precision x16 server now this list means that if we disable the osd so you got to make sure if you don't see like right there for example you see that 3d mark so you're running 3d mark and you don't see it out there at the top left corner of the screen then you have to go click right there, that little EVGA logo. I'll do it again. Let's see it pop up. There we go. That little EVGA logo. You just click on it. Once you, you see that 3D mark, you just hit delete. Hit OK. And then you should see it on top of your left corner of the screen. Pretty, pretty simple. Pretty awesome. I really like it. Um, by the end of the day, it's up to you. MSI Afterburner is not a, it's not a bad software either. I've been using for a long time also I just have the only thing I stopped using it because it was giving me problems on battle for one so that's why I switched it up to EVGA precision X or we'll see by the end of the day it's personal preference it is up to you what are you feel more comfortable which user interface you find a lot more easier to work with by the end of the day is your flavor what what do you really like by the end of the day what do you really want to use Overall, I think it's an amazing software. I like it. And of course, the last thing, these are my overclock settings. So you do have a 1070, you could try this for yourself. Usually, um, if you wanna be safe and sorry, be uh, a little bit more stable, then I will adjust the um, CPU core clock to 120 or 115. Now, I have um, heaven benchmark right here. So we're gonna click on it right here. And you're gonna see Matter of fact, let's change the color a bit. Let's, I want to actually go white. Yes. Hey, okay. Exit that. Come on, come on. Really? There we go. So minimize that. Hit run. And we should see on top of here any second now. Should see it. There we go. Pretty much you're good to go all set now any questions you want to know about this please drop the questions below the comment section take care guys have a good day have a good weekend happy thursday and happy friday for tomorrow take care goodbye